Okay, so hello and welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today I'm going to make a Q&A about I have my own dress as a Bridgerton because I'm going to a Krimi dinner. I don't know if it's Krimi dinner in English as well, but it's basically like a dinner where you're trying to solve a case and ours is Bridgerton themed. Alas, I look like this. <laughs> But yeah, about I think two or three years ago, I made a video about uh, Archive of Our Own, a comprehensive guide about Archive of Our Own. And to this day, it is still my most seen video because apparently this is what I'll be leaving for uh, my children to see. Um, this is the biggest success of my life. Um, yes, I was the person who guided people on how to use the site to read fan fiction, albeit it be the best site to read fan fiction, so I can't really complain about it. Anyway, I thought when I'm already dressed up, why not use the chance to make a video because usually I just sit here uh, not dress up <laughs> and I feel like I should put more effort into everything so I combine two things going out and uh, filming beforehand. I have to show these fancy gloves as often as I can in this video because they make the whole outfit a bit bridget. The dress is nearly falling apart actually, it's very old uh, but I didn't want to buy anything new so I'm wearing this. Anyway, I still receive a lot of comments on the Archive of Bones video because I think there's just so many questions about the site in general that I compiled some of them together for this video to try and answer them so that if people didn't fully get their question answered in the last video they might come here and then get it answered because I am knowledgeable and have a degree in reading fan fiction. What is the AO3 main site? So I got a bunch of questions how to get to the main site or what even is Archive of Own which I thought I answered but last time I showed everything on the desktop view and I think most people read fan fiction on their mobile phones so this is why today I'll be showing you everything on the mobile phone as well. So basically you just type in Ar Archive of Own, uh, all three, also works, AO3, and then you get to the main page. And this main page is just like the overview, you can also log in, which I'm gonna do quickly because I am uh, an Archive of Own member, I think. Let me see if this works, my login, if it's still saved. And it immediately turns into dark mode because I do have my fanfiction site set on dark mode. Yes, you can set your skins under this pretext here and then um, it looks a little bit different. Like for example, if I revert to default skin, we have the default Archive of Our Own skin, which we're going to use now just so that everybody knows where we're at. Okay, and then you usually filter like by fandoms, as I told you in the last video. Is there an Archive of Our Own app? Yes, this question also came up a lot because a lot of people try to read via the AO3 app. There is no official AO3 app. I think I need to put this out very clearly because Archive of Our Own also did a statement on that once. And it's part of a very controversial lore because there have been a lot of third-party apps that are not actually authorized by the main AO3 side. So any app you might have is not actually a real app. Sure, there might be third parties who try to combine their apps and like, have you, have you even asked for your login? But be... Um, aware that when you give your data to those apps it's not actually safe anymore so I would discourage you from using any apps like for example I just downloaded one to show you um, this is one from Google io3 reader and it works pretty well actually I would say like you can actually use this to filter through the AO3 site but this is not official and I wouldn't want to support this but rather support the main site because I mean it is a non-profit organization um, with people coding it just for free so why not just be on the main page it works quite well as well. Yeah, many of you, I got like a lot of questions on how to read. <laughs> I can't tell you how to read, I'm sorry. Um, I think you need to teach this to yourself or hopefully your school taught that to you. But I think it's more about also how to start reading the fan fiction. So I'm just gonna go through this quickly and once and for all so everybody knows what we're talking about. For example, we're going to on the fandoms list right now and I'm just going to pick a random, let's just pick Bleach for like showings case. I don't even, I don't have never watched Bleach. But if you go under the fandom, then you get all of the works in that fandom. So that's like 28,000 something works in that fandom. And they're sorted by which was the latest published work. So what I usually do is I always go to filters and I showed you this in the last video. I always like look for kudos. So I know which fan fictions are well received, which people like. I mean, you can see this one has 15,000 kudos nearly. That's probably gonna be a very good fan fiction. Um, but more in the filter system in my last video again. And then to read it, you just click on the title and then you usually get into the fan fiction unless it has a major or explicit rating. Then it asks you again to proceed with caution. And if you really want to proceed, so then you can click, yes, I am over that age, I can proceed. And then you can read the fan fiction. You do read it by scrolling down. So that's a special thing. You don't have like in Wattpad the um, page sliding thing. You read it by, slowing uh, by scrolling down. And when you're at the very bottom and if it has many more chapters, you can go to next chapter here. And that's uh, the next chapter is usually either at the very top or at the very bottom. And then also you could download the whole thing 
as an EPUB, mobile or PDF, which is very handy actually if you're traveling and if you don't have internet. I usually just sometimes download fix that I know that I want to read um, and then I click PDF and it downloads a PDF of the fic. It's like a free book on your phone. Um, same with EPUB and everything. So it downloads like this, so the PDF looks a bit um, weird, but you do have all the chapters, downloads the whole work and it's pretty handy. And then you can read it just like you would read a PDF or something. That's basically how you read a fan fiction. Also always at the top you've got the chapter index, so you can go there and then see which chapter you want to jump to. And also always remember to leave kudos or comments for your favorite authors because they're also all doing this for free. So uh, I mean there's so many amazing writers on the page. Uh, it's never bad to say thank you. How do I eliminate tags or how can I eliminate a tag forever? Like, for, Or do you need to eliminate the tag for every search. For example, somebody wrote they don't want to read incest and when they switch between fandoms they always have to filter out incest. And yes, that's actually what you have to do. You can't filter out tags once and for all, so you can't say, oh, I hate men, so I want no men ever in my stories. That's sadly not possible. But you can always go to filters and then exclude and then um, exclude additional tags that you might not want. For example, I don't want humor in my fan fiction. You click this, and then you click certain filter and then all the fan fictions that are in bleach that are already filtered after kudos are now also excluding fics that have the tag humor but you if you were to go to a different fandom so if we went uh, back to the fandom list and then we for example go on haikyuu then i would have to filter again um, and also say again like okay for additional tags i don't want smut for example or light angst i just clicked so you always have to filter again with each new search. Is there a way to get your reading history on AO3? Yes, but only if you are a member, which I explained the signing up process in my last video as well. It's a bit complicated because you request to sign up and then a few days later you get your email and then you can actually sign up. So it's not a direct sign up process. It takes a few days, but I would recommend it to anybody who wants to get into Archive of Our Own. Not only is it easier to sort your bookmarks or what you want to read, but also you get the benefit of looking at your history. So you don't need to go into your browser history and look through all the shit that you went through. I would go to my, it's like my name up, up here. And then there's the button, my history under my bookmarks and I can go there and then I can see which works I read and which works I liked and everything. There's also the thing that you have marked for later. So you can mark fan fictions as read for later, which I find pretty handy because sometimes I see a like title and I don't want to read it right away because maybe I'm not in the mood for angst or something, but I think it might be a good fic. Then I mark it for later and then I can go here and there's all the fan fictions that I marked for reading later. But the history is not perfect because, as you can see, um, the work we just looked at from um, Bleach is not in here because I didn't read the full work. So it only goes for um, if I interact with the thing in any way or when I visited it and everything. So I think there is sometimes a few bugs with the history, which is why people might be confused. But that is generally how you find your history there. Someone please help me. I was reading a story in Area 3 and there was a picture in it, but I can't download it to see it. What do I do? Yes, AO3 has the option of um, including pictures, but it's not your responsibility to make it visible. So if you can't see the picture, then it's probably a formatting error that the author did and that is not on your side or you have like a problem with your latest update on phone or something like look if your phone is on the new stand but also in the coding process because AO3 is being coded by just people for free and um, there are sometimes problems with formatting so if a picture is inserted it might go over the text and you have to scroll or like you can't pinch down to see the pictures you have to scroll in a weird way to see the picture or sometimes you just see half of it um, but that is just like a small blog that is still there and that is being continuously worked on. I don't know how to get into the fanfiction I want to read. I put this question in here as well because there's been a bunch of questions, not only like I don't know how to get into the fanfiction I want to read, but also I don't know where to find my ship and everything because sometimes people go into AO3 and expect to put their ship name up here. Like for example, what's the common ship name? Um, we have Kagehina from Haikyuu and you put it in here and you're uh, think that you might get your ship and there are some founds here but usually people don't tag their figs as Kagehina or it's not like under that name like for example the fig that is up here is only at the top because it's called Kagehina like the title is that and you're obviously not looking for figs titled Kagehina you're looking for figs containing your ship or what you're into so I would always recommend filter after your show try to find your show in the fandoms and then if you found your show, like for example, let's go back to the fandoms, let's go for example to 
So for example, I just went to Harry Potter by <coughs> um, and I'm looking for Harry Potter fan fiction and I know that I have a specific ship that I like, then I would go to filters and look under relationships. And there, for example, I have, let's say, Hermione Granger and Draco Mal Malfoy. Um, I click that ship then there. So that is where I try to find my ship name. If your relationship is not like under the top relationship, so you can't find it under the relationship filter, you would look for it in like the additional text or other text to include. So for example, I would type me and then there would come like different, like for example, we have Hermione Granger, Severus Snape. If that's what you're into, I don't know, Hermione Granger x Tom Riddle. That's where your other text would come to and you could include it there as well. If you have two ships in there, it always looks a fixed containing both ships. So usually I would just put one ship. Let's just put this one out for showing sake. And then I would get like the fix that I was looking for. For finding good fan fiction, my tip is always filter after kudos. Um, but not only after kudos, if you have, for example, a thing for I really, really like alternative universe. So I would click alternative universe and try to find fix that fit that tag as well. But don't try to overload it with tags. Just say one word, one ship and maybe angst or something or something that you want and then you would go and look for the fix that you want so that is my top tip just keep it simple and always go over the tree start with fandom then go into relationship then go into what else you want for example alternative universe i can't find the fan fiction that i want to read or it opens but there's something like lost not found in archive of our own if you delete a fic as an author it won't show up anymore even if its link might still be circulating on the internet so that is why sometimes you get a link for a fan fiction and it might not be there anymore or it might be protected or anything um, that makes it impossible for you to read that fan fiction then can someone explain what is actually angst like is it what I call an emotional roller coaster? <laughs> yes, uh, I, I just put this question here because you answered perfectly. I think angst is actually a German word. Um, I think it would directly translate into uh, fear, um, but it isn't fear. Angst is more like this feeling that you get when something goes downhill so badly. It's like a downhill emotional roller coaster. And if it's just angst, then it just goes downhill. <laughs> but if you have your like, angst and fluff, then it's going downhill. And at the end, you get the sweet relief of cuddles or something. So yeah, that is basically what angst is. Does anyone know if you can filter out works you've already read? If you're locked in, of course. No, you can't. That is also a thing that I wish one could do because sometimes I've read so many fan fictions in like a specific category. Yeah, so my camera just stopped recording, so I am connecting it right now to my phone charger. Just for a quick thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I answered some of your questions. If you still have other questions or would like to ask something, of course, leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer it in the comments or in a separate video again. Um, and thank you so much for your continued interest in Archive of Our Own. I think uh, it's great if people get into fan fiction. Please, if there are any writers out there, keep writing. You're doing amazing. That's all that I wanted to say for today. I'm going to my criminal dinner now. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day, have a nice night, wherever you are, and bye, back on my channel.